This is JMC Ministries Live. I am Jeremy Caverly, and Miranda Caverly is going to be here. We are JMC Ministries. We share the good news of Jesus Christ to all. Thank you for coming. We are live every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. I know tonight is the premiere of V, but uh, let's stand for uh, J, which is Jesus, not me, and uh, see what God has in store. We have a lot of stuff that we can cover tonight. I'm going to... Uh, possibly make a quick phone call to get an update here. I don't expect to be able to transfer the call here, but we're going to cover the 4,000 mile walk for missions, as you guys know from this weekend. Uh, we have videos posted on our YouTube pages and Facebook. And what's going on is Dennis hit his head on the floor and, and uh, busted it up pretty good. It's kind of like a skint knee. And he was in Xenia, Ohio at a Church of Christ youth multi-denominational, I think, event based on what I saw so far. Uh, the next step that we're going to do after that is uh, we're going to cover into uh, a secret topic for later as well. At the end of the show, we have a updated stuff that we're going to do. Mo more than likely, we'll probably change the name of it. We might end up changing it to uh, Breaking News for the Day, but there's a couple of things we want to cover as well. Uh, and we're also going to cover Christian Chirp. And uh, we're going to be having an interview via chat room with Outreach New Media. I probably just called you out on that, Alex. But we're going to have an in-chat uh, interview with Outreach New Media who covered the story about Christian Chirp. And Alex, if you want to go ahead and type in the website for Christian Chirp. And so then people already have it in there. And we'll cover that. We're going to go right into Dennis Mixer. As you guys know, he's doing a 4,000 mile walk for missions. Uh, when he gets in any area, what, what happens is he wants to do something locally. You know, you always hear the statement locally and globally. To be globally, you need to do something locally. So, he's been doing that. And like I said, he's only got 315 miles left. Uh, I'm going to call him right now and see if he answers the phone. I know he was just now online. He's still in Ohio. But I gotta find out exactly where. Doesn't sound like he's answering. Yeah. I'm gonna wait and see if it picks up voicemail and then hang up. All right, looks like he's not available for his phone. Um, I'll go ahead and talk about his uh, website and everything. Ministryofthesheep.org. You can check out ministryofthesheep.org. You can get more information on Dennis Mixer's walk. Based on the last communication I had with him, he is on possibly the west side of Dayton, Ohio. At the most, possibly. He was in Beaver Creek earlier. So, he's on track. He's not behind. He's doing pretty good. Um, and one of our uh, other ministry partners is in the chat room as well. Buzznot is actually Gary Neese. He's the owner, site, administrator for AgapeJesus.com. AgapeJesus.com is very similar to what uh, Christian Chirp is doing. It's a Christian alternative for MySpace. And well, I'm going to say a quick comment before we go really into, you know, Christian Chirp and everything uh, here. But just to cover, uh, Agape Jesus has the same thing going on that Christian Chirp is. It's a place for Christians to fellowship together, to talk about God, to have prayer, without having to worry about someone condemning you for your beliefs, about having to worry about sexual activities. It's a safe place for kids and everybody. You can't just let anyone... Get on Twitter. I mean, there's tons of stuff. I get fake Britney Spears porno sites try to add me and all sorts of junk. And it's a mess. People will, you know, call you out, call you hateful names. And there's a time and a place for everything. Um, let's see, Marini, you have any comments on, on, on about Dennis? What uh, what do you think about Dennis? What is your, you know, opinion? You've met the guy. And uh, what is your take on him? I think Dennis is a wonderful man. I think that um, he's doing something 
you definitely it has to be a calling on your life to do because no normal person would set out and walk 4,000 miles on faith. So it has to be a calling and God has provided every step of the way for him. Um, he's, he's never been hungry. He's, he's never not had a place to set up his tent. He's always, and God has always protected him from harm. And the fact that he only has 300 little, just a little over 300 miles left of his journey is just amazing that he has even gone, gotten this far. Uh, most people, um, get out in the wilderness and they can't even take a day of it, you know, camping in a tent. But this man has been doing this since, um, May, what, May 30th? Mm -hmm. Yeah, May 30th, around that time, May 30th in, in the spring. And now it's, go, we're going into winter. And he still is trucking along and he's still, uh, on his course on the path that God has set him on. And he's, he's almost reached his, his goal. And, uh, and God has certainly been in the middle of this whole thing because without God, there's no way that he could have done this. Um, I'm going to cover again. Dennis, every night, does a uh, 9 p.m. broadcast. And he also does it on agapejesus.com. There's a section in the middle that he does it. I believe there's also a link on his ministry, the sheep.org website. But uh, if he doesn't get an update, we try to give you an update here. That's why we're going to cover what's going on here. Uh... But like I said, Den Dennis ended up staying at a friend's place. He kind of helped out there. Went to a, a local church in Chillicothe, which used to be an old, uh, the one of the first churches to have a black pastor. The first black pastor ever ordained in Ohio, I believe, was one wow. of the church he went to. And uh, that was a pretty cool event. Uh, when he was here before, he went to Bula Chapel and hung out with uh, Randy Reinhardt. He went and saw the Team Extreme from... Uh, YWAM, IWT, there at uh, what Church Triumphant in Kingston, Ohio. So there, and he's been on uh, WXIC and what's the name of the uh, WKKJ country? Yeah. I believe DJ interviewed him here in Ohio. And if you want to see those clips, you can check that out. If you're in the uh, Facebook group, I've already posted two of the videos: one of his testimony, and then the other of uh, the interview that we got him hooked up with. But uh, to let you guys know, he's getting his visa established. He also paid, uh, sent about a, roughly around a thousand dollars to India. The flood relief's going on. He's got some photos of that you can check out. Um, you can also check out his MySpace page, the Facebook. It's just going to be uh, Facebook. Dot uh, Dennis Mixer, and the same thing goes for uh, MySpace, Facebook. They both. Have that so you can personally talk to him. He, he has a lot of different people that try and, and chat with him on that. Um, but what we're going to probably do here in a little bit, we're going to take a quick break and I'll come back and tell you a few more things about Dennis Mixer and I'll probably even try and get a hold of him on the phone. We'll be right back. <laughs> 